quality combined with art is what we brew. During my time in Sydney in 2012, I started to brew a beer at home as a home brewer with my colleagues. And during that time, I started to develop my business plan for a craft brewery. When I came back to Milan, I showed the business plan to my father and he told me that it was great, a good opportunity, but obviously the Italian market was oversaturated of craft brewery. So this is why I decided to move to Malta and establish the first craft brewery in the Maltese history. So I established the brewery in July 2014, where we launched uh, for the first time L'Orchem Bray, and we launched uh, San Blas, uh, Golden Bay and Blue Lagoon, inspired to the local names. The mission from the beginning, 2014, was to brew the craft beer using the best ingredients, uh, as a malted barley, hops, yeast. Immediately after, Three months, we get the first uh, awards in Brussels. We already receive uh, more than eight international awards in London, in Germany, in Brussels. So we are environmentally friendly. We are recycling the water during the transfer of the beer. Just to give you an idea, usually the proportion is to brew one liter of beer, you need seven liters of water. Inside our brewery, where we can brew the beer with less than four liters of water, for one liter of beer. 30% of our sales are exports. The main market is the Italian market, where we have our flagship store in Genova, Machegotti, with all our beer on taps and even the bottles. We also export the beer to US, where we have a warehouse in Indianapolis. We are very straightforward with the logistics, so with our courier, we are looking for the best rates, so we can guarantee the best cost of transport for our importers, and also the efficiency, so we can uh, distribute the beer in a very short time, even abroad. But why craft beer? Because actually you can use also local ingredients. So this was my idea even from the beginning, 2014. We are brewing the first beer in the world made with local capers flower that is called Flinders Rose. This project was part financed by the European Union under the European Regional Development Fund, European Structural and Investment Funds 2014-2020.